You an angler. Then this next piece you might very well be interested in. Coming up this Saturday, the Peach State Crappy Club will host their fifth annual Veterans Appreciation Tournament at Elijah Clark State Park. Derek Fulton, who's also a veteran, heads the Peach State Crappy Club, and he joins us today to tell us all about the event. Thank you so much, sir, for your service and also for coming on the show to talk right. about this. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yes. Look forward to it. Um, so this is a tournament. It's dedicated to the men and women that have served or are currently serving in the United States Armed Forces, correct? Yes. Uh, in 2016, Peach State Crappy Club was established, and one of the things that we wanted to do was to give back to the veterans in some type of way. So what we decided to do was uh, once a year we'll have a tournament, per se, that we're going to take 25 veterans out and we're asking for 25 boater to volunteer to take those guys out on a day of fishing and it really is it's really about the fellowship you know the tournament aspect of it is a bonus catching fish is a bonus but getting veterans together like-minded people mm -hmm. men and women uh, on a day out on the lake Elijah Clark State Park is gorgeous by the way if you haven't been there mm -hmm. so uh, and we just have a great time we, we make a whole day out of it and uh, this being the fifth annual, I mean, it's been picking up over the years. What can people expect the day of the event? Yeah, so the day of the event, uh, we expect everyone to start arriving at 6.30 at Elijah Clark State Park. And we're going to have breakfast that's going to be provided by a local uh, company here, Clyde's Crossing in Lincoln. So Jason has been supporting me uh, for a long time, uh, the owner of Clyde's Crossing. Uh, after breakfast, uh, we'll have a quick meeting, prayer, of course, and I'll match the boaters up with veterans. Mm -hmm. and we'll just go out to their secret fishing spots <laughs> and, uh, and we'll just fish till 2.30 and then we'll come back and also a local 3T's Farms who's a chef now, he's going to do a, a pig picking. So a lot of people, you know, if you're not from the South, you probably don't even know what that is. So uh, it's, it's an experience for that. So we're going to have that as well for lunch and then we're going to pass out awards and, and have a great fellowship. So a lot happening that mm -hmm. day, be sure to sign up. What's it like being able to honor these veterans in this way, but also just that fellowship, spending time with them? It's tremendously important. I mean, as I walk around talking to the guys, in fact, the first one, um, I was walking around and I said, that guy looks familiar. And I was stationed with him in 93. Wow. And, and we just picked up like nothing, like the 20 plus years haven't passed us by. And you see that amongst veterans. I mean, we're, we're all pretty much the same. I mean, we love, we love our country and we serve voluntarily. So we got that understanding and we know we, we all been through something in that time frame that we can relate to. We try not to focus on that though. It's really focusing on being with someone, talking about something other than just, hey, I was deployed for 15 months, you know, just focus on something else for now and then establish that friendship and relationship that can maybe help you through some harder times. So that's that's really why we do this. It's, it's truly a band of brothers and sisters. Absolutely. Uh, getting together here. Uh, how can people be part of the event? And I know you're also looking uh, for vendors as well to extras yeah to so um, we, we get a lot of support from the local community here which is awesome um, in the past we've gotten support from bigger organizations like they used to give us a lot of fishing rods and stuff but I, because of the way things are going now that that was limited this year so um, I'm asking anglers or anybody they want to support hey just stop by the local um, companies here pick up a rod or something send me a text I'll come get it and I'll pass it out um, at that event. It's a no, a no cost to the veterans at all. The only thing we ask the veterans to pay for, of course, their fishing license and they have to pay the $5 parking fee to Elijah Clark State Park. But other than that, I don't want them to pay for anything. So we're asking for stuff like that. And we also, um, I'm also in need of some desserts for that day. So that's one, I was, I was working out of town for 30 days. So my planning timeline got cut a little short. So I forgot all about the desserts. So if anybody um, that just out there listening that can support desserts for up to 50 people, just give me a call and uh, I'll stop by and get it this week. I'm, I'm taking this week off to focus on focus on the veterans so all right there you have it if you're interested in participating we have the information there on your screen again that's happening Saturday Elijah Clark State Park um, we do have Derek's contact information there on your screen and also just want to point out that proceeds from this tournament do help veterans just so people know at home. yeah absolutely we, we give everything back to the veterans uh, we got some great local companies one that I want to say in particular is advanced technology leaders that's a veteran-owned company and I contacted him a few years ago and he's been 100 
100% in, and he's our title sponsor uh, last year and this year. So without his support, it would be hard to do some of this because it, it costs money to do things like this, um, you know, and, and, it's, and it's a lot of money. <laughs> so, right. But uh, we, like I said, I wanted to make sure that the veterans didn't pay for anything. That's real important to me so that they don't have to uh, just get there. We'll take care of everything oh, else. It sounds <laughs> good. All right, just get to that location, and they have you covered. Thank you so much for what thank you're doing. Thank you for having me. Thank you for your service, sir. We appreciate thank you. you.